Mobile Internet. Um, no fancy intro, just a, a quick job today on the Tigra. Um, as I've said before, the windows don't work properly. Um, it's the comfort control module or something gone. So um, today, panel's coming off. Let's have a look behind here, see if anything obvious comes to sight. So first job, pop that little beauty off. There we go. Two screws in there, just like that. Set those screws out, then the window control module has got to come out and there should be a, another screw in there and I'll take that plate off in a minute I think it's two underneath which I'll get and then it should just pop off simple so that plate is off you ain't gonna see anything there it is you can just about see it uh, what I didn't expect is they're torque screws so bear with uh, yes my trusty old CD set to the rescue yeah the regulator out so all it takes oh, let me show you Little clip on the back there, you just gotta depress that clip in um, with something quite shallow to fit in there. And then that goes up, pulls back, like so. Come on, there you go. And she's out. And the bottom, obviously, little clip, pull it up, she's gone. So, last two screws, hope you can see these there. Oh, got three there. And there. Okay, they're all gone. That should be it now. Let's just have a quick check round. Yep. And now it's just a case of pulling. All oh, sounds bad. But there you go. Clip, clip, clip. We're off. And there you go. That just simply feeds through the hole and the whole panel comes off as one. Right, so we're into the door. Let's have a dig around. Well, it'd be fair to say this. Uh, <laughs> vapour barrier here. Um, Boxall didn't want it to come out too easily. Um, yeah, the stuff they've used, double-sided sticky tape by the looks of it, is um, is like the stuff in a blanket. But with a bit of care and attention, it's off. Um, so, yeah, where do I start? <laughs> I, I'm not convinced, to be honest, that anything to do with this window regulator is the problem. But, you know, you've got to rule these things out. Um, all right, let's start um, disconnecting things. Well, I've had a good visual look round. Um, spray contact cleaner in everything. Um, done some testing between the block here and the connections here and also in here. And I cannot find anything wrong. What I did find wrong, uh, and I noticed it when I took the seats out, um, there was a frayed wire. Um, on one of the seatbelt buckles. Now it's coming up on the, uh, it's gone off now, but it's coming up, as you can see here, driver's seatbelt status, buckled. Doesn't matter if I put the uh, connection in or, or take it out, it still says buckled, so I wonder. <laughs> it would be weird that the seatbelt buckle would stop the soft close, but hmm, maybe the next course of action, get that fixed. We shall see. Well, I thought for a minute I might be onto something, but I've repaired the wire. Um, it's made no difference. So I'm just about to start up Vaxcom again and um, see if it now recognises that the buckle is clasped or not. Hmm. This is a challenge. So as before, there's no DTCs present. Uh, let's, uh, let's check. All right, it's still saying driver's seatbelt status buckled. Hmm. Damn, a bit bizarre. I've unplugged the seat, so it should say unbuckled. Oh, the thought, still saying buckled. Bizarre. Well, I had to have a bit of a break <laughs> because of other jobs and other commitments. And uh, as they say, that escalated rather quickly. Um, the problem I've got at the moment. Um, Hold on, let me just get myself sorted. Okay, so when I go into the instrument cluster, this is what I get. It flashes on and flashes off. Now, I have managed to get to the fault codes. It did come up once, but it probably won't do it now. It was saying that the, um, the button on the dash was stuck. Uh, so I'm going to take the dash out, as you do. Hmm, let's see, well, I mean it could be something to do with that I guess. Right, 
onwards. There you go, the arrow did come up at the end. And uh, the dash is out. And if nothing else, can give it a damn good clean behind there. Ah, dear. Filthy old car. Well, that's the dash with the cover taken off. I've got a feeling somebody's been in here before. And look at the back of it. Hmm. Some lights are missing. Yeah, doesn't look good. Well, that really is enough for tonight. Um, yeah, it's coming up with the fault to say that the uh, <laughs> the trip reset is stuck, but if I hold it down, it comes up with that. So, I don't know. This car's becoming a bit of a mystery, it really is. Oh well, another day, but I'm going now, I've had enough, <laughs> good night all. The next day. So hello folks, back on it again. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to film much today because quite frankly, just turn that off, quite frankly, I'm making no progress whatsoever. Um, it came up yesterday that the reset on the dash was stuck. Clearly isn't, because if I press it, there you go, it shows the inspection, shows the mileage, there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm kind of thinking, is there a fault with the dash itself? I don't know, but yeah, it's getting to the point where I think I'm just chasing red herrings, to be honest. Uh, still not got the windows working. Uh, well, the windows work, but still I've got the comfort mode working. When you try and activate it, um, it does come up with a few uh, error messages but they're not present all the time I don't know frankly <laughs> I don't know I'm starting to lose my patience with this car but I'll keep battling for a little while before I take it to a dark country road and set fire to it <laughs> right stop waffling let's see if I can make some progress today well after a day of messing around it's all back together again um Cleaned everything up I could get to, reset the ECU for a good couple of hours and put the bypass cable on. Um, tried everything so it's all back together again now. I don't know, something weird going on and I can't work it out at the moment but <sighs> such is life. Right, that'll do for now. I've better had enough, I'll be honest. So back in the familiar place again after all the work and messing about. Eh, let's run the diagnostics. Who knows, something may happen. Doubt it, but something may happen. On a positive, boy's cleaning his car. Ah! <laughs> Snowing. Ah, well, the last little bit for today is getting dark again. I don't get much time at night after work. Um... Yeah, had the uh, control module off, cleaned it all up, went inside, checked for dry joints, that kind of thing. Couldn't see anything obvious, but uh, yeah, still no, still no joy. Um, when you disconnect this, it does come up as the fault present, which is, uh, well, it means it's communicating with it, I guess. But um, as much as I play about with anything... It ain't working. Yeah, bit of a pain to be honest, but um, such is life. Right, I think that's about enough for today. Catch you later, YouTube, uh, for more exciting Tigra content. Yeah.